Hey, how y'all doing? Can you hear me? Fantastic. Uh, I think I got everything set up right. This is my first time, uh, second time streaming, really. So I want to make sure I get this right for y'all. Uh, hopefully the audio is clear. So uh, what I want to do real quick is uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna just tell you how this is all going down. I put the Discord a Discord channel up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So big, big thing is don't don't click on any links in here. <laughs> uh, there might be some people in here that are not so friendly. So don't click any link. Don't download nothing. Uh, eventually, what we'll uh, eventually what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to weed out uh, potential bad people. Uh, hopefully, everybody's is is great, <laughs> and, um, and we can just have some fun and and learn in here. So. Uh, Basically, what I'm doing is I'm calling this quarantine sec, and here's some here's some notes. So the first thing everybody needs to do um, is the way I teach is I teach directly from the objectives. So we're gonna have we're gonna have objectives. Oh man, I got the camera. I'm not. All right, cool. Let me let me try to do this. All right, cool. So I'm I'm a noob when it comes to this, but uh. All right, cool. So I'll be I'm paying attention to to this, this stream, and I'm paying attention paying attention to uh, both uh, the Twitch uh, chat and but mostly I want people to be talking on Discord for the most part. We're gonna try to build out a community, build several channels. If people are trying to uh, you know go for certifications, we want to definitely encourage people. Uh, so this is gonna this is gonna be dope. So uh, th thanks for coming along for the ride. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go over like what we're trying to do here, and so I just have two slides here. Basically, download the network security and security plus objectives. If you want to be super safe, I would get them from CompTIA. So what you can do here is um, you know, do a search for security plus objectives. And what this is going to do is bring you to the, the comp. One of the top links is going to be the CompTIA site. Now, uh, mind you, you can click. There's there's going to be other things up here that you can maybe click on, but I don't want to, you know, misguide or misdirect anybody. I would recommend getting it from the official CompTIA site, just so you're super uh, secure. They are going to ask for your name and stuff. You can put whatever you want to there, but eventually you'll get the downloads. What I'll do, what I, I actually have, I have one moderator so far, and I'm going to start promoting people in the community. Um, I'm going to start promoting people uh, in the community to be able to, you know, uh, be moderators. And I want to, I really want to build this out so we can support each other uh, through the current situation and uh, be able to get certifications. So my main mission here is to help you get I want to teach people how to learn and how to do these certifications. Over over my years, I've done a ton of certifications, and and my whole my whole deal here is I want to help y'all get certifications and all those different things as well. So I'm going to show you how I study for certifications. I'm going to go. I'm going to deep dive into the harder challenges. I'm not going to try to focus so much on terminology as much. I'm going to go into hardcore deep dive things. Uh, you know, if you, you know, TCP IP, the OSI model, I'm going to tell you how to remember this stuff. And I'm going to tell you how to, this is going to benefit you long term. What I plan on doing here is giving you evergreen knowledge. Um, fantastic. We got people dropping links. Uh, uh, <clears throat> so those, those come to that JP links look legit to me, by the way. But like I said, sometimes there's gonna there might be bad bad people to get into the channels, so be super careful. 
uh, what you click on. Because uh, there's definitely in every aspect of life, there's people that <laughs> they want to uh, cause harm. All right, so I want y'all to go download those two. And, and this is how we're going to do this. Uh, I have I have really good confidence that we're going to get a lot of people. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to give a lot of knowledge here. We're also going to get a, a lot of uh, certifications paid for as well. And so that's what I'm really excited about uh, is getting getting people and, and getting people certified. Now is this is the stream stop? I mean, is is the is it, is it the we still good? All right, cool. All right, sweet. All right, so streams good, sounds good. Right, let's get busy. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, All right, some people say I'm frozen. Am I frozen? Yeah, I am frozen. All right, fantastic. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna... <laughs> so some people say I'm frozen. Uh, and some, some people say I'm frozen, some people not. Uh, if, if you think I'm frozen, uh, you know, just refresh your browser. And so I'm new to this and hopefully it's, it's working okay. <clears throat> so download download those objectives. Um, and you need something to take notes with. This is like the minimum requirements here that I'm giving you. The first two are minimum. I'm going to walk you through and you're going to hopefully get appreciation for what all this stuff means. Also, uh, if you follow uh, Quarantine Sec on Twitter, um, I created this whole ecosystem just for this this thing. Um, also, join the Discord channel. I hope we're going to be able to moderate that and keep it uh, nice and friendly. And also, number one thing is pay it forward to someone else. Tell somebody else about this. Um, yeah, quarantine Sec is locked. I have that. <laughs> it's so funny. So I registered Quarantine Sec on Twitter, and they locked it because I put a put a, a date that was less than 13 years old. So um, join that Discord channel. We're gonna be. I'm gonna be in that Discord channel all the time. Pay it forward to somebody else. Now, some of you may want to follow along to some of the technical stuff that I'm gonna do. So we're gonna start light tech, but then I'm gonna deep dive and I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get busy and show y'all some cool stuff. I'm running Ubuntu. This is the machine that I'm that I'm running here. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna do a lot of Wireshark. Because Wireshark is a uh, what Wireshark does. Uh, so is I mean I'm I'm just I'm just trying to hope everything everything's going going good. Yeah. So I mean so if so if you need to install you're gonna if you can install stuff that's cool. Um, I'm going to install a couple of tools, but I'm not going to get super, super into tools. Um, somebody said something about VirtualBox. Um, man, I, I don't know. So I, I just, so what I want y'all to do is, is I got, I got ADD like I'm up, so I'm going to be distracted by the chat. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to pay attention to this, but run any OS. I don't care what OS you run, right? You give me any OS, I'm going to be in beast mode on it. It says, and I, I'm, and also Wireshark, and we might do more as we go. We might download tools every once in a while, as we go. So, that that's where we are. And what's cool about Ubuntu, uh, since uh, since Kali is a, we can actually download stuff from the Kali repo as well. So that's why I really like it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm I'm good. Um, so that, that's that piece. So now that hopefully, um, can I get, uh, I'm going to get some feedback real quick on, uh, have we, have y'all been able to download the, the, those on the network plus and security plus? Yep. Yep. Cool. 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 
So how I do this and how we're going to do this as, as a team is what I do is I I go through each, I'm going to go through each one of these objectives. Now I've seen people do presentations and I've seen people do lectures and the only thing they do is they go off the, these same documents that you just downloaded. So that's what, what, what I'm going to do is we're going to walk through this and over the next eight weeks, I'm going to go, I'm going to, I'm going to highlight why these things are important, right? And I'm also going to deep dive into some of these things that are super important, right? So well, what I'm going to do for y'all is, um, is give you that knowledge and you're going to see me deep dive. And if you, if you have something that you can play along with, we're going to, we're going to, you can, you can play along as well. So let's just go through this real quick, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go through both of the doc, both of the documents real quick, and then we're gonna take a breather, and we're gonna see what what's popping. Okay. So, what I want, what you have to do. So some of you are gonna get your certifications paid for, right? Now, um, what I wanna what I wanna make sure is. The people, the people that show the most effort and the most support in this community, are, are we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try to get their certifications paid for. Now, there's two things that I'm paying attention to here. Um, participation, like we're gonna be looking to see you know who, who's participating in the community, and we're also gonna be seeing like you're gonna have a little bit of homework here too, right? So my goal is to get 50 people certified, at least. So, so that's a that's a nice number, and we're gonna have tons of people being able. We're gonna have tons of people paying for these certifications. So, if you hang in there with me, we're gonna try to take care of you. All right. So we got the documents downloaded. I'm gonna go through the documents. And I'm gonna tell you why they're super important. Now, the stuff that I'm gonna tell you. I, I didn't share any Google Drive links, <laughs> so I don't I don't know what people are sharing. I didn't I didn't share any Google Drive links, so be careful. Okay. Oh, also, like I don't like on the Discord. Don't share any bootleg stuff, right? Because I don't wanna I don't wanna have bootleg stuff and people saying I'm bootleg and all that stuff. Now there's gonna be people on this this channel that. That's gonna share stuff with you. I don't want nothing to do with bootleg books. Okay, so don't click on any links. <laughs> don't click on any link in here because it might be dangerous. Trust me. All right. The oh, can I post the Discord link? All right, yeah, I'll post the Discord link. I think so. Hold on a second. All right, this is Marcus. I'm posting it. I'm posting it. I'm posting it in this thing. All right, that's the that's the Discord. All right, y'all be yeah, y'all be good out there. Don't be. Don't click if if it's not for me right now and and eventually moderators don't click on any links. I'm telling y'all, don't do not click on any links up in here. All right. All right. So I'm going to keep I'm going to keep I'm keeping moving real quick. Don't click on any links unless it's for me. That's right. Let's get down to this. All right, so now uh, let, let's look. So, so everything I'm telling you, the things that I'm going to highlight are evergreen. That means no matter what you do in your career, you're going to be able to use the use the content. So, protocols and ports. 
Now, why these are super important, and I'll give you a good example, is protocols and ports uh, are how the Internet works. Uh, and somebody kind of explained to me back in the day how, how this works. It's like, it's like phone numbers. So if I dial 911, I know that I'm going to uh, get the 911 operator. And there's other things like 411 for information. So that's what a port is like. So a port and an IP address together creates a socket. And that's when, when you say somebody's talking about TCP sockets, they're talking about that. Now, a quick example of how I can show you this is you see this comptia.org site? Now, by, by, uh, by default, what's happening when you see a, a, a uh, when you see a dang lock up here, what that lock means is it's running uh, SSL TLS right here. So if what I can do here is I can do a colon and do a 443, and that's in a representation of a, a socket. It didn't, it didn't keep it there, but that 443 was telling it that I want to connect on 443, like, like manually enforcing that. Um, and that's, and that's how, that's how that works. So if I wanted to hit, uh, port 80, now this might give me an error, right? So this site cannot provide a secure connection, right? And it's a val invalid response. Now, this part right here, this part is the domain and this port, what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm mismatching these protocols here. This is 443 and this is 80. So it's just telling me a hey, it's a SSL protocol error. It couldn't serve me SSL on that port. Now, I don't know how confusing that is right now, but uh, what, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, uh, is somebody said is it being recorded? Yep, it's totally being recorded. When I click this, it totally works. It get rid it gets rid of the four four three, and I'm and I'm and I'm I'm getting served with that web page. So remember, that's what a port is. A port is one hundred percent about um one hundred percent about directing. Uh, what they call a it's a listener on the on on the server and it's listening to that port just like a 911 operator does so if it if it um i think i'm i'm just going to make sure i'm still streaming so uh, so 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 question is uh so everything's going to be here um so if it if your screen freezes, pause and un unpause it or refresh or something like that. Okay. So what, what you're doing with these ports is the ports are what we call services in a computer world. And these services are going to allow you to do different things. Uh, and I'm going to explain uh, many of these and, and talk about the most important ones. Right. Um, but these are super important because when you're doing, when you're a security analyst, and, and the reason why I'm doing this course is so I want everybody possible to be, can be potentially a, um, be a security analyst. Um, so I'll tell you what, um, somebody's giving me a suggestion. So I'm going to like, after, after this session, uh, I'm going to, I'll be able to take any suggestions on my, on my setup because I'm, I'm, I'm totally a noob at this. And so maybe y'all can give me some tips on, uh, if I, if I have a, if I, if I can improve the broadcast quality at all. So, um, so basically those are what, what is important. These are super important. When I interview people, I ask them these kind of questions and why are these ports relevant? And I'll just go through a couple of these. DNS is important because every time you use a browser, essentially DNS is used. Every time you use a browser, either one of these two is used, 80 or 443, right? Anytime you're doing file sharing and stuff like that on a local network, you're probably using SMB. SMB is used a lot in hacks and stuff. So many of these ports, you need to understand. Uh, ICMP is used all the time by everybody. UDP and TCP used all the time. We're using, if you're watching me, you're using these, these protocols right now. I'm going to go to 1.2. One, one this is the bedrock 
uh, right here. 1.2, it says explains devices, applications, protocols, and services. Now, this is the seven layer OSI model. Now, so the, 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 seven, the seven layer uh, OSI model, what that is, is it's just a breakdown of everything that it requires to have uh, internet communications. So everything that everything that's required the, the, to do uh, to com communicate in the end. Now, what this is important for is it's important to be able to um, to be able to do um, communications, any kind of communications using uh, your pretty much your phone and the internet, or your laptop and your internet, or your tablet and your internet. What's happening is that you're using. Uh, somewhat of, of, of these layers and that's how it communicates and I'll, I'll have some pretty good explanations on, on how that works um, and I'm gonna I should be able to cover some of this these two tonight but I just want to walk through these concepts let me walk through these pretty fast so a lot of this stuff is pretty pretty uh, pretty cool stuff uh, we're gonna talk about uh, how, how network traffic works we're gonna deep dive into this stuff because what's important is you know it this is super important because if you're doing a security analyst job or any job, you need to know this stuff. Deep dive into that. Uh, we're going to talk about this a little bit. Subnetting is super cru crucial. This right here, a lot of people don't get that. We're going to do a deep dive on that. We're going to talk about uh, network configurations. Mostly talk about the stuff that's current. Some of the stuff's the legacy. You can study the legacy stuff uh, as you as you wish, I'm gonna talk about uh, like reality and evergreen stuff. Um, again, some cloud concepts. We'll talk about that stuff. Not really super important. When it comes to DNS, a lot of D a lot of attacks are using DNS to do exfiltration and in, in uh, command and control. So we'll we'll cover all that stuff. Talking about infrastructure. So this right here, a lot of this stuff you're just going to have to remember because it's only a few of these are actually used. Some of these things don't, don't matter so much uh, as far as being a security analyst. So you can just going to have to just know, you, you're just going to have to know some of this stuff. And you just going to have to memorize it. It's nothing, some of this stuff is not really important to do your job as a security analyst. Not at all. Given a scenario, boom, boom, boom. This stuff right here, these top three super important. Uh, we'll talk about these. We we'll talk about these until we're building a fist. We'll talk about some of these. Uh, the web definitely uh, is important, but these three up here, understanding how those work is is key to doing uh, to doing your, doing your job. Explain the purposes. We don't we don't get in here. We don't talk about all this stuff. All this stuff's good stuff. Some of this stuff's legacy. Some of we don't use it anymore. I'll talk about stuff that really matters. But you need to know all, all the different things. I want to I want to provide you evergreen content. We're gonna talk about network diagrams. I want to try to draw a bunch of network diagrams. That's gonna be good. So this stuff right here is super important uh, from a business perspective. This is what we're talking about businesses and, and how some of the things that are related to that. Hot sites, cold sites. This is kind of, this is CISSP type stuff. We're going to talk about log viewing. You're going to see me do some port scanning. You're going to see me do all kind of different stuff. I'll explain the difference between those different things. We're going to talk about all these policies and, and all that stuff. More business stuff. And here is talking about network security. So we're going to talk about a lot of these. Some of these you have to you have to just know. Some of these things I consider like legacy in some cases. All right, cool. So it's talk. So so let's talk about network security a little bit. And this is what this is where I make my bread and butter right here. Uh, basically, net, uh, network troubleshooting and, and all and all those different things. Some of these things you're not going to be able to do unless you have network stuff. But trust me, I'm going to cover enough stuff. 
you're going to have to fill in the blanks with, with self-study. And one of the things I want you to do is I want you to take notes over the, all these requirements. So you can get notes, you can take notes, you can find them on, on Wiki, Wikipedia, wherever you care. Whatever you do, you're going to take notes and you're going to share the notes with me so I can see you taking notes. Right? And that's how, that's how we're going to do it. That, that way I know you're putting in, putting in some kind of work. I'll, so basically, I'm going to be using, I'm going to be looking at your notes. And at the end, what we're going to do is we're going to combine it for master notes. And so everybody's going to have, we're going to take, we're going to take these notes. I'm going to get some volunteers to help. Uh, I'm going to get volunteers to help do this. We're also going to give you a link to, I want to get links to videos explaining these concepts uh, as well in your notes. So at the end, we just, and we can share notes on Discord for sure. But I want you to take notes <laughs> on, on all the different objectives. Like those aren't objectives, but these things right here, you need to have notes on those. One, one to two. One to two sentences telling me what, what those is. And why you need it is because eventually you can turn these to flashcards so you absolutely know, uh, absolutely know what these things uh, mean. So that's the network plus piece. You have to know network stuff to be able to be a security professional. I don't really, I really don't care. If you just wanted to do the security plus, that's totally okay with me. I don't really care. I care, care more about knowledge and you being a really good security professional than I do about certifications. Heck, if you go through this thing with me and you don't take any certifications, I'm good too. Yep, so you're gonna end up saving notes on Google Google Drive and you're gonna share with me and some of the moderators. Um, so I, is, there's people in this channel that know me. Hey, if you know me, uh, I need I need some moderators to help out too. Um, so you're gonna have to take your own notes and you're gonna have, to, I mean, these, so this is, this, the people that, that, I need to know that they're putting in work and the only way I can tell is the notes. And I, I did this method before, I taught this method before and it absolutely works. All right, so tell you what, let's quickly peek through, through uh, the Security Plus because what I'm, I want to get, I want to get into the network stuff real quick, and as, as soon as we can. So, same, same, same situation here. We're going to be going through this Joker. We're going to be talking about different, different things here. Man, there's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of terms. I, I need you to, I need you to know these terms. I want you to I want you to know these terms. Hey, remember if you're just joining, do not click on any links <laughs> except for a link that I or a moderator sends on any of these channels. Trust me. So, um, basically, what we're gonna do is we're what I want. I'm gonna actually walk you through several different kind of uh, what I would say assessments. We're gonna do. We're gonna do all kinds of different things. We might do some threat modeling with, with when it comes to this stuff. We're gonna do some pen testing examples. We're gonna do we're gonna you're gonna see me do some vulnerability scans. We're gonna talk about passive uh, passive collection, all kind of different stuff. Uh, yeah, so so some of these are terms, so you're just gonna to have to know the terms, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use tools where we can. So it's a combination of terms and tools. So you'll see, you're going to see me use using ter tools and terms when it comes to architecture design. I want to show you how to threat model. Hey, basically, what well, this is where the stuff that I'm covering the network plus actually matters because this, all the stuff that we talk about as far as networking goes, what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to apply that and draw secure like a secure network design. Yeah, cool. So we're just gonna we're gonna just that's how we're doing it. That's how we plan it. We're gonna go. We're gonna go through this. Uh, I will. I will be. Uh, I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna definitely prep a little bit uh, before each each session, uh, and I'm gonna make sure that we can get get you some some demos. I'll be participating in here. Uh, also, some of you may may be in the job market. Uh, I want to help people out with. I want to get it going. So what we can do is we can uh, we can share. Tons and tons of information. 
or we might do a movie watch party where we will just everybody will get on here and maybe start a movie. And what I'll do is I'll go through the movies and I'll took and we'll we'll look at a movie that's like talking about incident response, and then we'll do a movie, a mo- movie by hacking or something of, of that nature. And I can walk you through what's BS and what's not. So um, I can dissect your favorite hacking movie if you want. So, um, so yeah, my man Patrick is a Patrick is a moderator o- over over there. Uh, Mr. Robot, you, yeah, any movie, any show you want me to dissect, I'll do it. But I might spoil it for you, though. Be, be warned. I might spoil it. So we talked about we talked about how we're going to do this. So I'm gonna ju- I'm gonna give it up. Like the first your first homework assignment. Is going to be telling me what these protocols are for, and I mean one one dot one and one dot two. So what you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to do a Google Doc. You're gonna to have to share that Google Doc with me. Um, I'll give you my email address uh, later. <laughs> so the chat's kind of chat's kind of funny. Uh, y'all 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 wilding in the chat. So. Let's talk about this. Is everybody good? I'm going to pause for a second. No, we're not going to we're not going to stream a movie on Twitch. <laughs> we'll have everybody watch one. Yeah, I I, I might go through packet tracer myself, but I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to I want to, I want to, like, there's a lot of stuff that I could, I could, I could point you to and that, that would, would, might not be legal per se, like sharing documents, sharing software. I just want to be 100% above, above target because I don't want to be a target for some, somebody coming at me. So, so, hey, so the homework is you need to do one, uh, one dot one and one dot two here, and you need to explain to me what's each. Each item is for SSH, and and like I would say, for SSH, this is TCP. You need to tell me what protocol it runs on. So SSH is TCP port number twenty-two, right? And you can read, you can pick this up on uh, many 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 of the things, uh, like Wikipedia. Wikipedia will tell you what all these things do. So look up SSH. SSH is a protocol. Uh, it's a it's a TCP. It uses TCP. So some some things use TCP, some some things use use IP. But let me talk about let me talk about that real quick. So what I'm going to do is instead of a whiteboard, I'm going to type stuff directly into this document here. Let me get a new new doc. So let's talk about how this was all all started. So back in the day, <laughs> back in the day. So this thing called DARPA, y'all probably heard it as DARPA. They have this thing called ARPANET. Y'all gonna tell me if I'm crazy or not, right? So, so basically, what what DARPA is the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, I believe that's the name of it. So they came up with this thing called ARPANET, and and that first protocol they use, that protocol uh, is TCP. Uh, we 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 talk about TCP IP today, so they came up with that. So. Uh, the model that they had, they basically there is a thing called OSI model, and this some people call this the TCP/IP model. Some people call it uh, DARPA model. I've heard ARPANET model. I've heard all kind of different things, but that model consisted of uh, of, of four layers. Yeah, this is the old model. So this is like. This is a super old model, but this is very important because we still use this model today. So what we're talking about here, uh, right now we're talking about networking. I'm, I'm going in on networking, right? So um, so what, what that, that model did, it consisted of four layers, right? So four layers. Those layers were a presentation layer, 
All right, let's let's go to the physical layer. That was the that, that was layer one. All right, let me let me get a new, new page here. I feel like I'm telling a, a story. So so basically, the the first layer was a physical layer. That physical layer back in the day was like copper, like big time, like big copper cables, right? Uh, there was a network layer. No, 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 I'm, I'm crazy. There was a data link layer. But actually, these, these, I think these were the same though, by the way. Let me see. I think, hey, hey, uh, people, these were the same, weren't it? Physical and, and, and data link, were they the same? Or are they different? Pe my, my people know this. So, there was definitely a network layer. Uh, that's right. There's a transport layer, and there's an application layer. So I'm going totally off the dome. <laughs> by, by the way, so this network, this network and internet layer are the same. Yeah, that's it. So, uh, transport. So this right here is where IP addresses come from. And this right here is where TCP and UDP come from. Right? And up here, essentially, was the application what they were working with. So I'm just going to say some kind of terminal app or something back in the day. Old school, right? Black and, and all that stuff. Yeah, so basically this right here, this actually, this this layer describes bits on the wire, essentially. Bits on the wire and physical addressing. Now, and what we call these things now is we call these MAC addresses. Right? So this was all a long time ago. Um, so I'm just going to call it ARPANET. Oh, actually it's called DOD model. I heard that. This is a DOD model because they, they came up with this, right? And so that DOD model is something we still, we still use this model today. Um, but uh, in that model, I mean, we still use TCP and UDP. All right, and so what I'm going to do here, I'm a new slide, and I'm going to talk about uh, TCP. All right, and so what it stands for, it means transmission control protocol. And 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 what that means is that it's 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 talking about the transmission of of, of the protocol. But let, let's let's back let's back up a little bit. We talked about this. We talked about IP addresses. All right. Let me let me break out a terminal. Breaking out a terminal here, and why this is important. It's because I like to kind of like show people what I'm talking about. So we still use the TCP IP model. And, and what, whoops, let me try to make this bigger. All right, so hopefully y'all getting a, a nice little historical perspective on this stuff. Let me try to blow this up. Zoom in, zoom in. Um, I feel like Grandpa Mark is talking about this old school stuff. So, so in here, if I type in IF config, I believe. Is it IP config? What the frick? Oh my bad. I gotta, I gotta do this. So I have to install this. This is like so many systems are coming up with this whole minimum 
install thing. So I have to install ifconfig. So uh, what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to show you what we're talking about here from a low level. Uh, and that, that's going to install because what what ha what's happening here that screen that screen is freaking frozen hopefully uh, my VMware is frozen uh, so it's actually it's installing that thing and it's taking forever it's it's actually slow so how's my stream people Fantastic. Yeah, so what I want to do is I want to show you my, uh, show you the, basically if you do an IF config and, I, and, and when it installs, it'll let me do it. But that IF config, what that does, 15%, I need to give my virtual machine more memory. Uh, I'll do that later. But um, it's going to take forever. Uh, <laughs> Somebody said money well spent. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully I'm giving you your money's worth. All right. I got it. You know what? On my keyboard, I have a, I got a Mac keyboard, and my Mac keyboard is acting stupid. So I'm trying to, I was trying to make it bigger, but I'll figure it out. So I just installed this Ubuntu this morning. All right. So um, on this, um, let's just keep, let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling with this. And. That's going to eventually install and I'm going to show you. I'll show you that. I'm going to... Dang it, I made my, my computer like act mad slow because I tried to install something. I'll never do that again. Note to self. Upgrade, upgrade the RAM. So let me talk about this. So TCP and UDP, because I see it on your screen. TCP and UDP are super important. Because what TCP does is TCP um, is, is what we call a connection-orientated program. I mean, uh, a protocol. So connection-orientated uh, means that um, connection-orientated means that uh, it's like guaranteed delivery in mail. Where it's like um, when you send something certified mail... Uh, somebody signs that certified mail and saying, yeah, it got here. So in TCP, when you send data to another machine, what that does is it, um, it what, what it does is um, it actually, uh, the, 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 the receiver signs, it, it, it sends it back a, a notification saying, hey, I received that packet. And pretty much send send, uh, send me more. Uh, so what what this does? What's interesting about that is that uh, when you when anytime you see TCP or any kind of certification or test, there's a couple of things that there's a it's telling me to use some like low latency toggle. God dang it. Let me see if I can do that. All right. I'm just, I'm going to keep on, I'm going to keep on rolling with it. All right. I'm just, I'm going to keep on, I'm going to keep on All right, god dang it, echo. So how are we doing? I think I think I'm I think I'm good now. <laughs> so I got a over here. I have VMware going, and VMware is 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 not. Oh, I see. It is recovered. I do need to give it more me uh, memory though. So what I wanted to show you 
If I do ifconfig, it's going to show me all kind of really cool stuff. Inet means internet address here. So people say, uh, so basically IP address stands for internet protocol address. Right here, this is my network mask. And what's cool about this network mask, this is a class C network mask. And, and I'll, I'm going to talk about subnet and uh, subnet as well. And what's really cool though, it says ethernet address. Uh, this address right here is the MAC uh, address. So all these things are remnants for, from TCP IP. And that's the stack that we uh, all use. So we get slight lag, but no, no worry. All right. All right. So it means it, this is what, this is what that means. Um, and, uh, it's, it's connection orientated. And what this means connection orientated, when people say that when, when it initiates, it's, it's known by this thing called a three way handshake. And what that three-way handshake is, uh, it's a, there's, there's these different packets and we're going to see this. It's a sin, a sin act. And, uh, oh, it's a sin act and sin act. And there's a company named sin act, right? So, so it's three, it's this the three-way handshake, a sin, an act, and a sin act. We'll talk about that later. And why this is important is because people might try to ask you on an interview, hey, what's a three three way handshake? And and that's and that's what that's what it is. So let me check real quick. How's my stream? All right, cool. Hey, I really appreciate y'all uh, coming in here and uh, giving me <laughs> giving me feedback. Uh, yeah, like can I? I mean, I some of these things I would have to figure out. How do I freaking mute Discord? I we we just gonna have to roll with it. I just gotta. I don't. I don't. I can't. I can't keep my eyes on that in the same time. But uh, it's not bothering me uh, that much. But what I can do is I can just turn down my volume in general, and that's what I'll do. I'll just mute the whole dang thing because I don't need it. Right click on the channel name. Um, all right, I don't I don't instantly see it, so I'm gonna do it. All right, so so I'm 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 in here. This is mainly about the knowledge. Like I said, I'm trying to give you evergreen game. So I'm telling you, someday in the future, you're gonna go get it, do an interview, and you're like, damn, Marcus, they asked me that question uh, on my interview. So this is permanent. <laughs> Eastern Stone game that I'm giving you right now. Now, many protocols use. So basically, since there's a three-way handshake, and there's this acknowledgement every time you get it, this action, this thing. So what's going to happen? Um, I'm going to go over all this stuff. We're going to do packet captures. We're going to deep dive into this. You're going to see these send packets in real life. I'm going to show it. I'm, I'm going to show you this. So, through a handshake, and what people say uh, about three, the three-way handshake is, is, is guaranteed delivery. So, that's one of the things that we're going to put here. Is the three-way handshake is guaranteed delivery. And it's not letting me type, what the frick. All right, so my, my virtual machine is acting stupid, by the way. Is it, is it not letting me click into, it's not letting me, oh, cool, there it is. All right, connection orientated. Oh, we're gonna type in guaranteed delivery. I don't know how to spell guarantee. Something like that, guarantee. 
Bill's Bill's check for the win. Guaranteed delivery, and this this is used by. Uh, I would say sensitive protocols. Sensitive protocols meaning that if it loses a packet, it's 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 gonna jack. It's gonna be jacked. So HTTP. This is what you use to surf the web. HTTPS. Um, and other stuff like SMTP. This is this is email. Uh, SSH is secure shell. Telnet is old school uh, communication port. So there's tons and tons of different things. They need uh, they need that. New slide. So next thing we're going to talk about is UDP. And what this stands for is User Datagram Protocol. Now, this is connectionless. And what people say is it's best effort. So that means it does not do it through a handshake. So if you ever see something that says, you know, connectionless, best effort, what's in, what, what not, that's this. Now, uh, <laughs> Somebody made a funny joke uh, there. UDP jokes are the best. I would keep on telling them, but people don't get them. Um, so UDP, um, stuff like, uh, somebody mentioned Netflix and stuff in the chat. Uh, so so like like voice, um, there was tons of different things that, that, that don't care about delivery. And it's just like a, a, a fire hose, essentially. You just, you know, uh, you know, you just send it out there and pray that it gets there. And so there's a lot of different things that use that as well. Uh, connectionless is faster, by the way. Um, and there's tons of different protocol uh, that, that, uh, that, that does this. Um, so, but again, if we go back to the old school DARPA, ARPA, TCP IP model, all these different things were specified, many of these things were specified way back in the day. That means we're using technology that's, that's almost old as me. Um, now, this is super important because we still use this today. So, you know, attackers are using these protocols to attack stuff. You're using these protocols to stream uh, this video. And so it's super important that you know and understand what's going on at this level. And then when I break it out in Wireshark, you're really going to see what's, what's, what's going on. Now, let's talk about uh, IP addresses. And this is going to be some, <laughs> this is going to be some, I got a crazy analogy for this, All right. So IP address is for internet protocol address. And here's the deal, like if some of you might notice stuff already, but hopefully some of the, the terms and some of the definitions and the way way I encourage you to be able to talk to people about this stuff. So some of the some of the ways I break this down, because I'm a country boy, so I, I like to break stuff down simple. So um, an IP address is used for end to end routing. And I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw some analogies out here. I don't like what it's like. Dang, I love. It. All right, so basically, an IP address is like your full home address, right? Or it could be like a your phone number with the zip code. I mean, not zip code, it's area code. Right? And so it's funny. Um, and, and why th this is important is because it's used, so your home, your, 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 uh, your, your iPhone, 
is going to have an end-to-end -end routing address on it. Uh, barring something like, there's this thing called network address address translation. And so what I'll do is I'll, is I'll, uh, I'll give that to you. We want to talk about that stuff uh, later. But an IP address is, is like your home address. That's how we route traffic across the internet. That's how we route traffic even in our home. If you have, you know, Alexa devices or, you know, uh, or any kind of phone internally, this is how you're talking. So in in routing, uh, and and uh, and it's it's routed with protocols, and, I, and I'm going to show you all this stuff. I'm a deep dive. I'm a deep dive like a monk. Uh, so uh, <laughs> yeah, but that but that's pretty much in in routing. Uh, an IP address, as, as we, my IP address on, on this machine over here was uh, this, right? And what we call this, we, whoops, that's wrong thing. An IP address, I'm just going to type one out, 168.1.1. Uh, uh, I believe this is called uh, dotted decimal notation, uh, and um, and what this does is it identifies on this network. This is a private address, and I'll talk about private versus public in, in, in another another piece of here. But what this does, um, what this does is it allows you to to be able to route stuff from end to end. Now all this stuff is going to totally make sense if it doesn't make sense now. Because I believe that I, I break this down. I, 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 I believe that I can talk to people, you know, the smartest people that know everything. And I like and I can break it all down with the, uh, the different. Uh, but yeah, so that that's that's what IP address looks like. You might be familiar with that. If every once in a while, you you know, back in the day, I think cable. I think internet's way better at home now, but I remember people used to used to, have to reboot your router because you couldn't get an IP address and all this this uh, nonsense. But th those, th that's what IP addresses are. So uh, I've been talking for an hour straight, um, probably like that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna take a five minute break, and uh, hopefully this is. This is okay, and I'm doing an okay job for y'all. How y'all doing out there? Uh, so it's a five minute break. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to come back at five after. I'm about to give me some drink. detected at the backyard.
motion detected at the backyard. All right, so I'm back. Yeah, I don't, I don't really have a home lab. <laughs> hey, so I'm gonna hang, I'm gonna hang out on Discord for a couple of minutes afterwards, so I'll be, you know, yes, yeah, so you, you heard my, you heard the backyard, that, we got some dogs, we got, we got three rescues, and, uh, we just, I, we just let those, the dogs out real quick to run around, real quick, they out of control, <laughs> all right, um, so, um, so basically, I was talking about IP addresses, and so what I wanted to—I was giving you the backstory behind how how this is all all came together, right? And um, so what what I what I, what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna keep keeping on going. So let let's let's uh let's look at this this dang thing over here. What is this right here? Boom. So so all I mentioned many of these things already uh, already. And when we when I'm I'm gonna use Wireshark in an, another course probably uh, Friday, and and I'm gonna be going through and we'll see some of these things in action. So I, you know, the, is this saying you know I'm I'm not from Missouri, but I like to show I can show you better than I can tell it. All right, so let's I'm gonna start talking about this real quick. So. So all this is, all these things should be recorded, right? And uh, it should be, it should be recorded. So real quick before I get started, uh, it's it's gonna be up for, I think fourteen days at least, and I can download it and I can upload it. So Thursday is the next one, same time Thursday. So yeah, Thir it's gonna be Tuesdays and Thursdays, six to eight. So, yeah, so hang out with me. Anybody wants to volunteer, hang out. There's some great suggestions uh, in both chats. So uh, if we can, we let's build this community. If you want to volunteer, there's a lot of good ideas. Uh, yeah, so Tuesdays and Thursdays, let's, 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 um, so for the homework piece, uh, I'm going to, you're going to be sharing those with, with me and some volunteers, and we're just going to make sure that you're, you're checking in with the homework. So uh yeah, hang out hang out with me after um hang hang out with me, you know, a little bit after uh eight. So we, we got about fifty more minutes to go and hopefully I can cover some stuff. I hey, appreciate y'all showing up. Hopefully I'm I'm hopefully I'm helping y'all out. Alright, so we talked about we we talked about the first thing. Uh this DARPA net uh, situation, we said it went something like this. Some people say physica, physical. I've heard this pronounced PETA, P-I-T-A, because physical internet transport application. I've heard some people. I've heard people call it all kind of things, but it's still relevant because we use this every day now. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to new slide. Let's talk about the OSI model.
And if I say some stuff wrong, I'm going 100% off the dome here. I don't have no notes. Some This is all coming from my head. So I could be wrong on some things. So uh, <laughs> forgive me if I, if I get one of these acronyms wrong. I think this stands for Open Systems Interconnection. Either connect or, yeah, I think interconnection, right? So basically a bunch of vendors got together and they created this thing, right? I believe vendors and like professors and all kind of smart people, a bunch of propeller heads got together and says, hey, we need to, we need to be able to communicate and not be a proprietary system. Because what happened is, um, what happened is people kept on creating their own protocols. Network came out, Apple had their own thing. Uh, I mean, it's like all these different people came out with this stuff. And so, and so basically, hey, let's just come out one protocol so we can all talk to each other, right? And there's a lot of different ways to remember. Uh, remember, I see a lot of people typing up these things how to, how to, um, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's a, a way to remember all this stuff. Uh, forgive me if I don't know the quite correct term, but basically, uh, it's, it's, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to create another slide here and I'm going to put the OSM out on it. So basically how people tend to remember this stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoa. That doesn't look good. Let's try to make it big. All right, let me. So basically down here, let's, you always start at the bottom. The physical layer is the is the layer one. And it's at the bottom if we stack these up. I like to stack them like this because each one builds upon another one. So data link. Um, network. And this is where people remember. So P, D, N, T, S, P, a. What I like to do when I go for a test, I actually brain dump. I totally 100% brain dump these things into a document because sometimes when you're nervous, you forget stuff. So I have a list of facts that I, when I went to go take a test, I would just dump the facts on, on the paper. Boom, 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 boom. And then that's what I would do. So a couple of these. So some people say, please do not throw sausage pizza away in here. They're putting all kinds of different things in here. Uh, but yeah, so come up with a way that you know uh, how to how to do it. I learned the sausage pizza thing. Please do not teach students pointless acronyms. Wow, that's amazing. Thanks. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so so there's all kind of a mnemonic. That's the it's a mnemonic device. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a great great way to remember stuff. And um, transport uh, session. Protocol. Oh, what am I talking about? Presentation. In the application. So what I want to do here, I mean, God dang it. I don't know if I can make the font any better. I'm, I'm using a brand new editor. I'm breaking all kinds of protocols. I just downloaded all this stuff probably an hour before I got on here. Oh, snap. What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. All right. I'll have to play around with this later. Mm, text. Uh, all right. Forget it. All I'm on here, we're going to throw it in. All right. Um, basically, the physical layer, and I'm going to put down here, I'm going to tell you. The physical layer is a combination between... I would say electronics. I would say the physical medium, like is it copper? Is it is it is it airwaves? Is it light? And it's a, a transmission transmission method transmission related stuff. Transmissions. It's transmissions. I mean, it could be it could be bits and bytes. And I know that y'all can't see see that. Let me try to raise this up. 
um, sound effects. So basically the transmission. So basically all these different things, hey, if it freezes, refresh or hit play, play, and play. Um, data link layer, we talked about that MAC address. That's what kind of resides there. And we have these things called what we call frames. A data link has a frame. A frame is like traffic. It's like a, it's like a, <laughs> it's like a, if you can imagine like a, if you're a caboose and, and all the car trains, it's like a frame, right? And uh, that frame goes over the data link layer. Now, and I'm going to talk about this is process called encapsulation and decapsulation. And I'll try to, I'll try to get that. I'll try to show you how that works as well. All right. So the network layer, and I'll, I'll probably draw you a nice drawing as later too. Somebody's like a, a box car. That, that's right. So all the traffic goes into, imagine this is like a little train box car. Traffic goes into this and then we put it onto the wire. The network does, there's two things that happen at, at the network layer that, that matter. And uh, there's routing protocols that, that matter and routed protocols that matter. And routed protocol, that equals uh, IP address. That's gonna be, the IP address is routed, just like a post office. So say if you, if you were back in the day and maybe still somewhere, if a train carried mail from coast to coast, which it did back in the day, so you put a, you put, you would put, you would put this onto the train and then the mail would have an address on it. So basically the first thing we looked for was San Francisco. So it was like, boom, you're going to the West Coast. And then once it gets to San Francisco, then it's looked at on a, on a more microscopic level. This transport layer defines how it's transported. Now, this is going to be connection oriented or connectionless. All right? So, is it going to be UDP or TCP? That's what that means. TCP or UDP. Either one. So, if this is a web session, it would be TCP. If it was some other protocol that used UDP, like uh, DNS, it would just, it, it would. So basically, again, the mail analogy is, I want this to go certified mail, I would do TCP, because it definitely should get there. And if it doesn't get there, it'll request it to get it back. That's the cool thing about TCP. So it's connection and it's guaranteed. So session layer, this is going to be controversial, but I'm going to say it anyway. I, I heard people saying remote procedure calls, RPC, but what Marcus says, that, 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 I want to say this doesn't exist in, in real life, but you need to learn this for the test. Very controversial. <laughs> Yeah, DNS is, is an application, I would say. Somebody asking questions in here. So, let's keep on going. The presentation layer. Some people say the presentation layer is, is teeing it up for the application. So I've heard people say stuff like MPEG, JPEG. I've heard people say this, and like I said, I could be totally I could be totally smoking something. Y'all, y'all can correct me uh, at some other later point. But this is this is what I've learned over my years. Now, the application layer. Funny enough, um, this is where those ports come into play. So when I say application layer, it's a combination of the ports and the port numbers. Uh, typically, when I say it's not an application like an app on your phone. 
so basically that be that that's an application to to this stack per se. Uh, and 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 in each one of these, tell that right. Could be oh, and by the way, like presentation could be text. A lot of these old protocol are text presentations. This would be twenty three. HTTPS. So what it does is it when it sees something coming through a protocol, your computer knows what to do with it based on some of these different some of these different things. Now, how this works is it works by this method called encapsulation and decapsulation. I'm gonna go risky here. Oh snap, look what we got here. Can we draw this? Oh snap! Look at that. Look at that, Marcus is drawing up in here. And then, we got this, can we turn this? Oh my God, spinning and spinning and spinning. Let me, let me get another one. What's this right here, is that the same thing I had? God dang it. Oh, these are gonna be the most ghetto drawings ever. Sorry about that. All right, boom, right? Okay, when we send something, right? Hey, 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 yeah, yeah, like your boy, he like my, my PowerPoint skills. You know what I'm saying? All right, let me quit tripping. So when I go down, when I go down from application, what happens is, uh, everything is everything how it works is this is called encapsulation what that means and and people and people visualize this as and let me see I can probably I probably get this on Google real quick I'm gonna type I've seen this visualized encapsulation and envelopes TC uh, what's that? This should bring it up. It should bring a diagram. I've seen this so many times. Images. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, snap. Why, why do this? You know what I'm saying? So basically, this is encapsulation. So you have data up here, right? Oh, this is beautiful. Sender, receiver. You put the data in here. It tells it what application. Hey, this is going to be a web application. Oh, this is going to be... Uh, you know, impact for YouTube, right? Oh, we need to put this over TCP because it's going to HTTP. Oh, I mean, my bad. Session layer don't exist. Transport layer is going to say TCP. Network layer is, hey, is, I'm sending it to this IP address. This says, hey, I'm sending it to this. This is the MAC address. I need to send it to that MAC address over here. So these things actually work together because what happens is physical layer to physical layer, that's like the internet, copper, ethernet, Wi-Fi, satellite. It's going to bounce all over these physical layers. Physical layer is any, any transmission medium. Over here, once you get local, the data link layer, I'm going to show you all this stuff. I'm going to talk about ARP. I'm talking about Mac. I'm talking about all this other stuff. What happens here is it, um, is it, it matters over here. So basically, network layer. This is where the IP address, the destination. These two, these two matter. Once you get here, it's gonna look. Oh, this is a this is a TCP connection. So we need to guarantee this. So at this layer, it's gonna respond back to here and say, "Hey, I got it." Then at the presentation layer, oh, this is MP, this is MP3. All right, cool. I'm gonna send this to freaking whatever is listening on uh, eighty that listens to MP3s. So that's how that's how it works. So that's that's actually that's a beautiful presentation on how that works. And it's very consistent to what I said from the dome. So this is what we call encapsulation, where it encapsulates it into a beautiful little package. And decapsulation is it when it gets to the destination end and it unpacks it and, and pulls it apart. That's what that is. And oh, by the way, this is evergreen 
stuff that we're talking here. Because when the attacker attacks, attacker is going to need to connect to a service. Attacker is going to have to do TCP IP. An attacker is going to have to communicate IP to IP. An attacker is going to have to resolve stuff with DNS. An attacker is going to have to do this and SSH to the next machine. It's going to have to connect to SMB. That's another TCP connection. So all these different things. So the term evergreen, and I'm sorry for, I know some people are international. Evergreen is like a, a conifer, a tree. That tree is green throughout the whole year. Right? And what I'm saying, throughout your whole career, the stuff that I'm, I'm telling you is going to be relevant throughout your whole career doing this. That's what it means. You know it, and it's always relevant. That's what evergreen means. All right. So, all the different protocols, the physical layer, think of any way that you can send communications. That's physical layer transmissions. MAC address is relevant locally. And this is like, I'm going to give you all some game. Like, a MAC address is like somebody knows my nickname, right? So, uh, my nickname, um, I have a, you know, you have nicknames amongst friends. My, my mother called me Butch because that was my dad's nickname. She called me Butch. Funny enough. I don't think nobody knows that except for y'all now. But um, she used to call me that. And that's what my, my dad was called. But locally, outside of that, nobody would ever call me that. Right? So, data link layer, you only, data link is 100% local knowledge only. Then IP address is, is actually globally known. So, everybody knows me as Marcus Carey or whatever. <laughs> and um, everybody knows me as that. But locally, someone would call me, call me something else. And it's like sometimes locally you can call somebody a, an offensive name and it doesn't mean anything. But uh, from a net, from a, on a network basis, it's like a globally addressable thing. I compared it to your home address. Transport layer. Are we doing this? Do, is this a super important message that needs to get there? Well, we need to do a TCP. Is it, is it connection less? Well, we don't care if it, the package dropped. We, we can send it with UDP. Uh, presentation matters because that's going to interpret what application essentially handles it. And also with, with uh, some of these things that happen seamless. Like we're going to actually go through a browser. Some people ask people. <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking at the comments, people. Funny in the comments. So um, the application... Um, is all this stuff is super super relevant and I, and I, I can't say it enough so that that that's that bit uh any questions so far any questions on the content that uh we, we covered so far Yeah, so in my experience, UDP can be much faster than TCP because UDP uh, doesn't require you to... Uh, UDP uh, is not going to wait for a failure. So definitely on like circuits, if like back in the day in the military, some of the circuits that we had, uh, some of the circuits were terrible. Uh, if, you have, if you have a terrible connection, you definitely want to use uh, UDP. Yep. Uh, so if bandwidth is concerned, UDP is, is probably the best. Just like the stream, the stream probably is doing UDP. Because UDP, TCP waits. And <laughs> it pretty much waits. It's, it's kind of like, it's, it kind of sucks. If you drop a packet, it takes a long time. That's why if your internet's down, it takes forever to time out. It is just float, it's just spinning and spinning and spinning. It's because that's what it's, what it's waiting for. And you can't really change that, by the way. I mean, like, if you're a programmer, you can change it. But if not... All 
All right, so so I need to say or. That pipe is a programming term thing for or. Sorry about that. So connect connection less, uh, and right here, basically, that's basically saying that connection orientated is TCP. Let me do this TCP. Hey people, and like if y'all stick with me, I'm gonna be repeating the same stuff over and over and over again. So don't worry right now if if, if you never if you never heard this stuff. I'm gonna re keep on repeating it and it's gonna be over and over and over again and it'll all make sense. And then maybe sometime if you wanna go back um and and uh and look at it. You'll 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 get that. Any more questions? I see some questions. Yeah, UDP. It doesn't care if you drop packets. Yeah, you, I mean, so encryption is is a it, encryption is I would consider encryption a presentation layer situation. By the way, somebody asked about encryption. So basically, uh, at the presentation layer, encryption in like in a browser happens. You can encrypt. You can encrypt any data. Uh, so, so I said after after I finish talking, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get volunteers, and the volunteers we're going to be providing stuff over all kind of different things. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm probably going to switch this deck up to to Google Documents. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna talk about PGP. We'll talk about everything, like like every relevant topic. Hopefully, hopefully I can cover, and y'all can y'all can ask me all kind of stuff. Um, uh, all right. <laughs> so, uh, so so far we we've covered we covered uh, definitely a lot of topics. Uh, all right. So. This is this is actually quite quite interesting stuff. Um, what can I? I want to I want to dive. I can dive into that stuff, and but I think I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save that for next week. Uh, uh, some some of these different things. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely uh, save for next week. Um, so what I what I would like to do right now. Um, this is the first. This is the first class. Um, and what I'm going to do is I actually want to, I'm going to end this one early tonight, but what I want to do is I want to hang out in discourse and I want to, I'll, this is like, I'll, I'll probably, I'm probably going to refresh you on this. We're going to dive into more stuff. And, um, and I want to, if, if you want to volunteer, I'm going to be in the discord, uh, help us build this community together. Um. We, we can do that. So the homework, your homework today um, is I want you to go through and tell me uh, in one or two sentences what these protocols are used for and why, and why, and why they're important. Because if they're on here, they're important. Uh, I want you to tell me what these, these, these layers do. So 1.1 and 1.2, uh, I want you to take notes on that. And um, and what we'll do is um, what we'll do is we'll uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna end the lecture now. Your your homework is this, and you don't have to. What we're gonna do is we're gonna you don't have to turn it in to me now. But uh, what I'll do is I'll work on a, a, a nice way to exchange and share and share these things. So. Um, what I would like y'all to do is I would like you to uh, hold on a second. Somebody said flashcards are good. That's exactly the plan. If you, I want, I want eventually take notes, and these eventually could be flashcards so you can know know those terms. So basically, what I want to try to do is uh is give you the. I need I need some I need some moderators. 
here's the here's the Discord. Uh, I just posted Discord again. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to, if if, if you're t if you want to take notes, I just want to show that you're you're putting in the work. Uh, because ultimately, uh, what we're gonna do here is uh, the the test costs three hundred bucks, three twenty nine for Network Plus, and uh, three sixty nine, I believe, for um, uh, for God dang Security Plus. And so, I mean, it's a little bit of change. So I want to make sure that people bring bring in notes. So one dot one through one dot two. Um, so uh, and so basically, right now uh, we have we have over a dozen of tests paid for. And so what I want to do is once I get this running, uh, out you know, and when we get this started, uh, we're gonna build more momentum. Uh, anybody can say that they're teaching Security Plus or Network Plus, but you know, uh, you know, I, I, we need to prove that that we're we're doing this. And so let's let's do this as a community pull together, and uh, we're we're building this thing out. So uh, so so definite on one dot. 1.1 1 1 and 1.1 1, uh, 1 .1 and 1-2. 1 uh, I want you to take the notes, and in the next course, we're gonna, we're, I'm gonna be collecting some moderators and people that, to, to be like TAs because I've already had people do that. So, and then we're gonna get, we're gonna be able to, we're gonna create a process to uh, give, give the homework, to deliver the homework. So uh, I didn't, I didn't want this to be too much of an undertaking. Heck, I'm, you know, everybody's busy, I'm busy. You know, and I wanted to be able to balance, you know, life, family throughout this thing. So um, I really, uh, wow, cool. That's awesome, too. So we're going to have tons of vouchers. Um, you know, like I said, we, we got tons of people, people reaching out to me already, you know, paying for paying for vouchers. I'm partnering with a nonprofit to take that money and uh, the nonprofit will be issuing out the vouchers. Uh, so yeah, that that's it. Uh, hopefully, y'all enjoyed it. Uh, this is going to be really good, and um, I think that uh, we're going to be good to go. Uh, I'll see y'all over in the Discord channel.